Just a reminder, if you want to continue to see videos like these as well as video tutorials, support us through our online patron. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I have a couple things to show you here uh, as well as talk about. Uh, one of the things is work has pretty much finished on the input uh, device dri drivers and um, the plugins that will allow for the expandability of that. And I've started back end work on the output uh, interfaces that will run the plugins for the output drivers and devices. Um, and this is important because of, as we said, the SCP virtual bus drivers are depreciating thanks to stricter Windows. Uh, driver signing enforcement and I need to hurry up and get this out so we can make use of the newer vGem uh, as well as open source these plugins to make it so users have the ability to uh, quickly update them as things change in the future. Um, other than that uh, I showed a couple screenshots I'm working on the API implementation uh, for game recognition into the software again um, we used to have this, or I've started work on it before, uh, because I wanted to put some cloud functionality into the program, such as sharing profiles and macros with other users. Uh, but that was thwarted by a bad API. Uh, we were using the games.net, uh, something like that, and it was constantly crashing. But uh, now that we're using Giant Bombs API, things are stable enough where I can continue work on adding cloud functionality into Input Mapper. Um, so just to show off some of that, I'm going to go ahead and fire off Input Mapper here. And I have Assassin's Creed running in the background here. I'm going to switch over to that. And you see Input Mapper here picked it up. And if I switch over it, I can click on this tab. And this window will give me a, a rundown about the game as well as any profiles that might be online that are associated with it, um, as well as um, functionality to, uh, you know, dig deeper into the game or uh, report any incorrect information. Um, so slowly, over time, I can build up a database and make the uh, detection more accurate. Um, it should be pretty accurate off the, back, off the bat, uh, but it might pick up a couple things wrong and we'll build on that as time as people submit uh, information whether or not it's incorrect or correct. Um, something that's important about this is uh, since we have a pretty decently sized user base we want to make sure that we're not inadvertently DDoSing Giant Bomb. So there are a lot of levels of verification to see if this is a game uh, before we even ping their database for game information. Uh, as well as we're not contacting Giant Bomb's API directly from the application. Uh, we're actually going through Input Mapper server, which is putting a, a one week cache on everything that we grab from them. Uh, so, because, you know, stuff like cover art and game descriptions aren't really going to change over time. Uh, so, there's no real reason for us to be pinging them every time somebody opens that up. So, we're going to put a one week cache on everything that we grab from them and that should help us lower the requests that we send to them quite a bit. Uh, that on top of, of uh, making sure that we're not sending requests for things that aren't games and we're doing that by various means. Um, the first level is just a, a hard blacklist that I'm writing into the software itself which is stopping things like the, uh, the Windows 10 notification icons that like to pop up every now and then uh, so it doesn't detect that. Also things like the file explorer, um, browser tabs, stuff like that. Uh, so those will be, uh, those will be shut down uh, before they even get to the API. And then past that, we're also doing a, uh, a WMI search on the application that's running to see if it's loaded any modules which are commonly associated with games like the Direct3D uh, DLLs. If that's loaded, we're going to say that it's probably a game and let it reach out to the API. If not, uh, we're not going to reach out to the API, but we're going to give the application the option 
where the user can go in there and say that this is a game that's not a normal application and then uh, it'll be whitelisted and then reach out to the giant bomb list uh, at that point. Um, so these things together should help keep our requests to them at a minimum. Uh, so one, we don't inadvertently DDoS them or get our API key shut off for misuse. And two, just to you know, add a good practice and keep from pissing them off because uh, they do have a great game database and it would be uh, great to utilize that in Input Mapper. Um, so that's about it for this week. Uh, I'm going to continue working on the output drivers and try to get a version out that uses those as soon as possible so people can get back to using VGEM instead of the SCP Virtual Bus. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Have a good one.